Hello, in this problem, we're going to find the Ronskian of this set. So of e to the x and e to the negative x. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first, let me refresh your memory on what the Ronskian of two functions actually looks like. So let's say you're taking the Ronskian of f and g. Well, the Ronskian is going to be the determinant of, and so what you do, is you put your functions in the first row, so f and g. And then in the second row, you just put the derivatives of those functions. And then you compute the determinant. So um, the determinant would be this times this. It would be f times g prime minus g times f prime. So this times this. And this is typically not how you memorize it. You memorize it like this. So let's go ahead and do it. So we want the Ronskian of e to the x and e to the negative x. And this is the determinant of. So again, in the first row, you just put the functions. So it'd be e to the x, e to the negative x. Then in the second row, you take the derivative of those functions. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. That part's easy. Now, the derivative of e to the negative x, well, you have to use the chain rule. So you take the derivative of the outside, which is e to the x, and you leave the inside untouched. So it'd be e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is negative x, so its derivative is negative 1. Let's write it a little bit cleaner. This is the determinant of e to the x, e to the negative x, e to the x, negative e to the negative x. All right, so now we just have to compute this determinant. So the Ronskian of e to the x, e to the negative x is equal to good stuff. So it's this times this. Now, when you multiply e to the x times e to the negative x, you add the exponents, so you're gonna get e to the x plus negative x. You're just gonna get negative one, but I'll, I'll go ahead and write it. It's gonna be e to the x times negative e to the negative x, then minus, and then e to the negative x times e to the x. Again, so it's this one times this one, then minus this one times this one. Again, this one times this one, minus, and then this one times this one is equal to, so now we add the exponents here, so we get e to the 0, which is 1, and we have a negative, so this is negative 1, then minus, and then same thing here, we're going to get e to the 0, right, because you add the exponents, and e to the 0 is 1, so we get another minus 1, so we end up with minus 2, and that would be the final answer in this problem. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.